estoy de nuevo en directo para seguir con la historia de Dispelition. Vamos a seguir explorando por la península. Clutches a small stuffed animal. Oh, I had to. Where did you get this? I found them when Lemmy and I were playing hide and seek in an empty house. She doesn't want you to think she stole them. I hid them. The twins were going to take them. We are going to need those gloves. It's for important police business. Oh, they're in my sand castle behind our house. Under the sand, you can break the castle. It's not very good. Yes, I am. Little Lily. That's nice. My mom is great. Yes. They don't want to play with me. They're older and play outside. They look the same. <laughs> Sometimes I can't tell them apart. They look identical. <laughs> it's a growl. You might be able to get on Gart's good side if you replace the broken skewer you almost certainly broke. Sure, just go and get it. I don't like it anyway. It looks angry. All right. You just need to grab it from the ceiling and go. It's Lammy. He's my friend. So Lamby is a stuffed lamb that, admittedly, has... Yes. Very soft. Isn't he soft? little sandcastle. The once mighty tap, the walls and floors give way to the giant's greed, collapse and present. Congratulations. That's the gaunt... As you 
fold your fingers into a fist. You realize you could not. Your movements cause tiny little clicks, like dice rolling somewhere far away. A hardened, vitreous enamel at once sleek and voluptuous adds a glow to your cheeks and a spring to your step. Just imagine with a foot, too. Are you sure you're correct there? There was a helmet. She's not. Everyone knows drugs make you invulnerable to cold. Huh? Maybe she didn't hit. So she did. You don't have to do anything. I don't know. Some kind of a store? Your pulse report. What did she just say? That's not how a civilian is supposed to address an officer of the law. Your eyes are fixed on her. As everything gets off, she looks down, pretending to be busy with make her. Um, the kid isn't arrogant. She's just afraid to look you in the eye. You already put her in a plate. You're right. I shouldn't have sworn. I'm. Her hair is dyed blue, with dark roots. Okay. A cell. Why? Okay. It's burger. You have little reason to doubt that's a real man. But she's not all that surprised by his cop show questioning, is she? This is a portable recording device. It's for field recording. Actually, just one wire. I picked on it till the braiding came loose. The wire leads to a contact microphone. Okay. Recording, I guess. I think I'm recording cracks in the ice, but there's no way to tell. Not without headphones. I think I just recorded your footsteps too. The musicians in the Palisium used them for making music. They looped the stuff, cutting the t Anyway, I thought I'd make some too. It's supposed to be, like, a music place anyway. I don't really know what I'm doing. They use synthesizers to... She looks at the recording device. The thing she thought would fill her hours with... Take this. You're cold. No, man. Fuck that. I'm cold. I'm sorry I said that. It's okay. That? The boys think it could be a place. Like the Palisium or something. Stupid. It's really not gonna be a Palisium, that's for sure. Yeah. Andre and the guys, they're inside, in the tent. A 
And why is that? They got too much stuff crammed in there. No music stuff mostly. Like this tape recorder, but bigger. And there's piles of it. That stuff is more expensive than I have. More expensive than any of us, really. Doesn't matter. I can... Yeah, maybe you were right. Go ahead. The device is still warm from her touch, and heavy as a brick. From the... She looks you in the eye. Her pupils wide, surrounded by a ridiculous amount of... Me. The wind howls. It's real. Tell her. What is? Okay, I'll stick to it. There is little you can do to help her now. But given the chance, you feel like you should. Something changes between you two. She looks at you differently now. So thanks, I guess, for the psych session. Maybe I can return it. What's been eating you, officer? It's supposed to become, like, a club. For anodic dance music, like that new style of synthesizer stuff they play at the Palisium. Except that, yeah. The floorboards are twisting, and the shooting beams are slowly cracking, like bones, far east of the Golden Delta, beyond the industrial port. There will never be a club for anodic music, not in a million years. I know. It's not my idea. Andre and the boys found the place. It was supposed to be deserted, but hey, you two are cops. Okay, well, maybe you could talk to Andre and the guys, because there are some strange things going on in that church. They're inside that thing there. Would be cool if you did. It was, you know, anodic, cathodic, music that's made with electronic instruments. What do you need to know? Go ahead. Well, it's just questioning, right? You're just questioning me. It's what cops do. Once or twice, yeah. I'm sorry I haven't had the Revachol experience they get east of the river. Rich people. Rich people are east of the river. Aren't they? I thought they were as bachelor as any of us. Just way richer. Hmm. Maybe you're right. Most of them do speak three languages. The usual. I had a shitty rut. You know, drinking, getting into fights. The ugly stuff that happens when you move out your parents' place at 13. In Fulbert. My dad was a drunk. Plus, I guess, I just wanted to drink too, you know. Get my party on. Okay. A pane of etonite has been planted into the snow. Barely holding it. It looks like a mix. The pain falls into the icy snow with a soft thunk. <laughs> the tent is just tarpaulic fabric. Come on, get in a close. It's safe to assume. Sorry, we barely have room for one. You go ahead. I'm actually not here. I'm sure you will feel right at home. I'll keep watch. You see a youngish man bleaching. Hello, I'm Andre. 
It's a pleasure to meet you. His grip is strong, sweaty. This is my posse. The young man with earrings looks at you suspiciously. Shrug is good enough for us. 
He nods enthusiastically. No. As always, we'll be... Wow, so someone's been beaten. A young man with his nose supposed to be shot. Parkour! Parkour! Yeah! Spinning out lyrics and imaginary psychotic games. <laughs> than twice your height stands shut in front of you. The rectangular seawall ornamentation appears. The lock turns. Let's go. As you do, you hit a great whoosh of it in the heart of this. Thank <laughs> you. 
silver and apricot fails. This is her innocence, Dolores Day. Cradled in her arms are a pair of glowing. Your knees touch the floor. The floorboards are hardened. The world is silent, but for the creaks and cracks of the massive wooden structure behind you. The ocean feels distant. Its ebb and flow blocked off by the in the darkness. You... The woman looks down at you, kneeling. She towers among her followers, architects, laymen, as that soft work. Your fingertips touch your chest four times. Then you rise from your knees into the apricot-colored light of the window. Above you, the woman still smiles her distant smile, sundered by the crack in the glass. Despite the damage you've done to yourself, the title appears lodged in your hippocampus. This is her innocence, Dolores. No amount of Commodore Red can wipe her sad smile from your brain thing. The highest category of historic individual, an embodied more. An innocence is elected to office by the founding party, a precedent that has taken place a mere six times in the entirety of history. The legal system of the re- An innocence is infallible. The decisions made by one are not decisions. They are... No, we are alone. 300 years ago, in the wake of the discovery of Miss Isola, many things, you know she was a woman of the court, the wife of an influential Marchese, and eventually draped in ancient sadness. Are you sure you want to remember this bit of historic trivia? Stand... Yes! Big Mama! Bo the past. It's a silo of sadness, fermenting. You should- Fuck this pain, Thratan! Exactly. As did we all. The lands of the mess and the oxygen, and even far away, Supram Windy. All together in a city called Advesperaskit, in Vesper Messina. Her homeland. The name- She was dressed in a white and pearl dress, on an emptied out plaza. Oh yes, she looked like humanity's young mother. A perfect mother. Insultingly beautiful. It was midwinter snow was beating the cobblestones around her. A small attache of officials stood by as her therriers played. One of the men in this secret service killed her. Twenty-two years. Something that had walked in our midst. Watching us stumble. Dolores Day was shot in the chest with a fowling piece eight times. The man, thought to be insane, said he once touched her and her body, this inhuman quality was witnessed. Terrifying is a term too terrifying. It's a simple word. She was bad for you, man. Good. Now, but she was not hell. She, there you stand, below her once more. The old woman in the village was right. It's a minor landmark, not easy to find. Most maps misplace it. Okie dodo. machine stands in the corner. Another radio computer. And this time it can... These machines sometimes harbor trips, he thinks. We should leave. I doubt this place bears any connection to the case. It 
is also quite similar to the one we have done on this table. The one you saw earlier was a massive PC fluorescent play and print. The lieutenant says nothing. Behind the hatch sits a cube-like crisscross of filament. Another filament memory. The speaker comes to life. Good afternoon. It's the same old woman you spoke with through the radio computer in the doomed command. Good. Please. Let's look around. There's no use trying to guess the answer. No. Received. What is accident? Is there anything else I can do for you? To Goodbye. The machine's keyboard. a few muff your voice is barely audible it's unnerving the lieutenant points to can you hear anything i wonder why the church his detached tone conceals how uncomfortable the lieutenant doesn't reply but the orderly rows of ceiling panels become barely visible then disappear completely in the darkness of the tower overhead It's like there's something moving up there. A shadow has emerged from the tower and it's making its... It's not a shadow anymore. Becoming more substantial as it gets closer. The shape of an animal descends. Officer, is there something up there? Oh no. Y yes. The darkness. You see something hanging from the rafters, looking straight at you with dark eyes. Maybe it's possible to. The shadow is a man. A man made of the same stuff as the carpentry of the building. He is studying you intently. The man leaned forward a little, fixing you with a steady, unreadable gaze. Then habitual alcohol use has made you into a scared little pussy, Holmes. But don't worry, everything's gonna be all right. Here you can receive the mother's love. And when you're ready, this man is obviously a habitual narcotics user. I'm put off by this religious stuff, he thinks. And maybe the ceiling climbing, too. It's all very hard. Hey, and what was that about? The bottle again? You haven't even drank that much lately. Lay off it already. Is that cruel the way? I see deep inside you. Your body and your spirit are suffering greatly from overindulgement. Not all of it. I was like you once. 
You don't know all the havoc el vino is wrecking on your mind and your spirit. Necesita parar, homie. You know, actually, since we're here, you may want to pay attention to what... Look at these crazies. What is this shit? Don't trust me. Trust the mother. I'm only the messenger home. This is the church of the mother of silence. You are... This mother of silence sounds like a serious... Sure did, Holmes. Oh man, I would love to see that statue. I'm sure I'd be trespassing if the church was in use, but it's not, hombre. I done my shell of illegal shit. Used to be in the gang, the whole deal. Nah, ese, it's not like that. Do you remember your name? The lieutenant is not particularly interested in this. Tiago's my name, but those syllables don't mean much to me these days. A name is in your place amongst your fellows. Your place in the world. I ain't... That's just the thing, Holmes. None of that matters. The ones in the tent outside, right? I see them. Think they scared of me. Nah, man. They look pretty funny. Though we used to. A long time ago. Why not? They wouldn't bother me none. I'm usually way up there. Might even be nice to have... He said that in spite of himself. This is a special place. There's a perforation in... I circled it. Nurtured. No, no, no. There's a new god in town. And she can... She is a cavity in the dark. Beyond sense. She saved me. But I... His adoration is beyond sexual. This cavity... I'm a seraph, Holmes. I sing the mother's glory. I ain't from no Marietti, if that's what you're thinking. Hard to say. I think I did some construction work here, back when I still had material worries. Been spending a lot of time here ever since. The past is nothing to me now, eh? I think they were. A long time ago. I, I will be incinerated, but not destroyed. It's not like that at all, man. It's just faith and joyful service. I know it will take time. The sinewy figure lingers. Police raid a while back. Did you witness it? Not really. Or at least I don't remember much of it. Other spoker? Oh, esa viejita es muy estudiosa. <laughs> don't know, Holmes. No. I just call her viejita because of her clothes. She's actually quite young. That's what I said, Holmes. Don't really follow her comings and goings. Just see her typing on her computer now and I'm afraid not, Esse. You just have to oh, search through her radio computer. Too many times, Esse. You need it for something. Don't swear, Evato. The password is afterlife death. That is true. But what comes after death? What you think of that? I think we're done here, Esse. That was, uh, however, I'm still... The machine's keyboard is... The speaker comes... Good afternoon. Votre accident on Saint-Brune. Good. Please repeat good. I have unlocked the filament. After a fortress accident, is there anything else I can... I have two machines. Sabrina. Anything else I can help you with? Yes, I am alive. I am 74. She repeats passwords. Programming people are paranoid. I work 
had a repeater at the East in Columbia and a repeat as for me, well, I am... On an island on the river Esperance, a small woman, all skin and bones, sits in a room filled with doesn't it get lonely? Sitting there all by herself. Lonely? <laughs> Why would it get lonely? I get to talk all day to people like you over a warm cup of tea. That's why she... Now, please tell me why you're calling, Fortressac. Goodbye. The machine's keyboard, the printer prints out a long text document with dated paragraphs. The first entry, made on the 4th of Feb, arrived at the church. The door was boarded up, so I used the crowbar to get inside. Looks like the place has been deserted. The lieutenant leans closer, scouring the printout over your sh... 4th of February. That's over a month ago. Whoever set up those machines has been here. Our case? No, I don't think. 6th of February, 51. Had a little chat with the local fishermen. Said I shouldn't go near the sea. Even one of the... What was that about narcotics? This could... I doubt that we can find any. It's just nothing spooky about this place either. 7th of February, 51. Finally got the electricity in. Next on the agenda. Why would anyone need any of this equipment here? 8th of February, 51. Bought the antenna. Had some problems setting it up. Called Simon for help. Heard the others are back to making art. Drinking somewhere out of town. Artists, yet again. Harassing citizens. But at least the artists have their act together. They're qualified labor. They can get work. I just have to find out what caused that data loss and be done with it. Still don't understand. Seems like something to do with radio computers. And for something about the backup data. I think these people worked in a radio computer. 12th of February, 51. Brought some food from the grocery store. Apparently, there's a strike going on in the harbor. Definitely not happy to see them. The strike. We are nearing the day. Keep reading. I mean... 25th of February, 51. I've been sending data up to Linto for a while now trying to recreate the data loss but nothing is she talking about 28th of february 51 yes the first recordings confirm that the, the pillar of silence she is talking about the silence is she suggesting it's more than the lieutenant doesn't march 51 some kind of young disco men have appeared next to the church i've been trying to record the silence to find the fortunately the song is so monotonous, I was able to divide. The girl on the ice? March 51. I got a call from the repeater station. Someone has tried to access the radio computer in our old office in Martinez. Can't do anything about it. The storekeeper still doesn't want to let me inside the building. Think. I knew it wasn't a good idea to meddle with the machine. No, no. It was a great idea. You're on March 51, a new two meter aux cable. Limited by the sound of the chirping of the make straight for the radio computer. Breaking into my radio computer, I see. I do apologize for the intrusion, madame. We are with the RCM, you see. Well, you won't find any music then you organize us here. It's just me and my computer, and it has been this way for weeks. Now, please give me some room. I need two seconds to see that you haven't destroyed... We should talk to her, after she has rebooted the machine. What is it? No, you just printed out my personal log and wasted some paper. Yes. Or, no. She doesn't seem surprised to be recognized. I am Sona Lukkanen Kilbe, the 
former lead programmer of Fortress Accident and RSA radios. I have over 16 years of programming experience and I'm proficient in both Vox and Orbis languages. If you're not here to hire me, I don't really know how I can help you. No? Yes. No, you're right. I'm not. I brought them here. These are my machines. Please don't touch anything. I use the AR-1 as my main prefix for... Mm-hmm. Yes? You really don't know anything about radio computers, do you? All right. Well, all radio computers perform operations up on air. On the front. The unified front of radio waves. Licensed and controlled by Lintel in the east in Selindic region. It's all around us. That's... I guess it is. So far I've been quite satisfied with it. Martinez is an unstable region in fact, but it's not the cheapest one on the market. So I wouldn't recommend it for your... Anyway, you should do some research before you decide to buy anything. She might tell me this. I'm working. The machine seems almost alien with its pulsing core. The light casts in her face in a strange shadow. Could you... Could you just... It's not just rudeness. It really... They are connected to my rain prefect. Great. You really like those questions, don't you? I'm conducting scientific research here. I'm looking for the location of a two millimeter hole in the world. She's looking for a disruption in the radio waves. That's what her personal... The lieutenant raises his brows, but doesn't say... Yes, that's what led me here. Exactly. What, what do you think it is? What qualities does... That's a little above your pay grade at the moment. I don't know. Are we? That's what I'm trying to figure out here. But how do I figure it out? You measure it by its surroundings. By that, it does exist. But honestly, it's not progressing there. But does it have anything to do with necroplasmic life forms? Ghosts. Everyday pilots. Somewhere underneath those roof beams, I assume. Only a faint crisscross of rafters. Strange things. There's this place at the back of the church. A place where all audible vibrations seem to decease. I've named it the... The Pillar of Silence? Are you sure it's not just an architecture? Maybe. But it's oddly close to the physical coordinates of the data loss that let me... I know. No. I she sounds mildly annoyed by the... Ghosts? No, I don't think so. You do know there's no need to officially... She has already turned back. Because it's just trial and error, trying to locate the swallow, the exact point in space. And I don't have a... Great. Thanks. What? I hate it. Maybe I'd have to be on drugs to get it, but to a sober mind it just sounds like uninspired work within. No way. This is about those speed freaks in the tent, isn't it? I've got some news for you. It's not a nightclub they want to build here. Take a guess, why don't you? I can't believe they got you so easily. Go have another talk with the- Good luck. I'm not coming in there. The swallow, you mean? What about- Great. Thanks. The mother of humanism stands above you. A precious and complex wax painting on a single page.
buenas. Sí, es un juegazo, la verdad. Lo estoy jugando por segunda vez y lo estoy gozando igual. ¿no? Aunque la otra vez lo juego en inglés y, y me estoy enterando. Someone has left an unidentifiable article of clothing on this room. The cloth. If you could, it's streaked with dried seagull shit and tangled with pe Please tell me you're not taking that with you. It's a guano encrusted jacket. It It doesn't help. You can still smell it. Don't you recognize it? That idiot's pungency. That faintly cloying sweetness. Only death smells like that. Something cold wakes in the pit of your stomach. Fear. The lieutenant has already brought that. Eyes up, detective. <laughs> This strawberry liquor. A tragedy. He shakes his head. Whoever tossed it here was a. You see traces of mayonnaise and ketchup on it, as well as a tomato wedge. The wrapper reads, It's hard to con. A man lies on the boardwalk, his limbs bent and nicked. Half of his body slipped between the cracked boardwalk, starting. The smell is not as bad as a two-week-old corpse. Hold on. Lividity is faintly pronounced. Whoever this is has been dead for two days. Another dead body. Calm now. Careful. He's wearing mud caked boots, beige trousers, and an old brown leather jacket with a bright blue lining. There are traces of kebab he finds some sunflower seeds and a rain-soaked library card folded into two. His jacket feels so good. We should take a look at that library card after this. The man has fallen through a crack in the boardwalk, and you have to be quite inebriated to fall that. His expression is dull, like the sea behind him. Drops of water shining on his mustache. Height, 170 to 175 centimeters. Curly hair, stout build, age approximately. He was confused when he died. He was just... There's some dried blood on the metal bench, right where the corpse's head rests. The floorboards are rotten, a dried chunk of blood. But this is where he came out of himself, drop by drop, when he was unconscious. 
I don't see any other major wounds, do you? Seems like the head wound was fatal. It's exactly the shape of... They screech under your feet ominously. If you see waves churning with a 0.75 liter Tallulah vodka with its cap missing, that it's mid-market spirits with a slight touch of menthol. The man meant to enjoy himself, have a good time. Tear all around her. Grabowski spearmint chewing gum. The blackness of death. Stench confirmed. Nearly the whole pack is there. He ate the whole pack, right? It's to cover the smell of alcohol. I've seen it before. Almost the same scenario. Even the chewing In a ditch of a road, the entire boardwalk creaks in. Looks like one of the locals. He'd have to know this spot to come here. But that's just a lazy assumption. At least this man knew how to party. Imagine the same scene without the bottle. This is an omen, a sign from above. Don't start drinking again. The wedding ring. But let's try to not run ahead. Death by misadventure. He slipped and fell through the boardwalk. A truly an Oh yes. Some symptoms of acute alcohol poisoning could have definitely played a role here. But I think that death arrived through head trauma, not liver failure. What about it? The deceased ate some kebab. It's probably from a nearby place, maybe in the box. They'll seal this place off after the news reaches the coalition officials. Not that sealing it off would keep anyone away. No, I don't see anything that points in that direction. For now... Yes, but what if there's a killer on the loose? Without any further evidence? It does seem to be a pretty straight... From where I stand, I can see two options. We either take the case and follow the leads to identify the body on our own, or we report back to the state. All right, we should first examine the library card you found. Then we can call the station from my kinema. Let them know we are taking the case. The library card is folded. Whoever owns this card is an avid reader. You find a list of books written in blue pencil. Radio thriller. Stand a little less between me and the sun. The most of these type, if lost, please return the card to the library. Dial 005-025521. Good. We should give them a call from my kinema. See if we...
Try again, Drew. Anything else, detective? One moment. Can you please describe the body? A sex? We suspect he might have been inebriated when he fell. There were bottles all around him and traces of vomit on his shirt. Any signs of violence? No field autopsy necessary. You can hear her quickly. What about his belongings? Did you examine his clothes? Any information on the library card? Good. You have it. Do you and Lucien Kitsuragi want to take it? I have assigned the case to Ms. Martin Kitsuragi. Please follow up on this library lead to identify the man. That's all for now. Thank you for reporting in. Is there anything else I can do for you? 57. Oh. In the cabin, you see a set of steering levers. A radio. Droplets of rain fall on the white on blue police livery of the motor carry do something important even at a standstill the unibody caprice kanema looks sleek and dynamic the someone has waxed it recently mm -hmm. no point in stopping then The interior decorating kind. You know, I'm sorry. This is a I can fix it to the plaque and have a new bird in the establishment, I guess. So I don't know. Thank you. People just don't know how to accept gifts, especially taxi. I feel good about our work here today. It's all about the little things, like bringing people random stuffed animals. No, you don't. It's not happening. By causing more trouble, I think we're good. The whirling doesn't need more sad style. That's one of the styles it can do. It's for the... It's for no one. It's a prop. I'm not letting anyone use it after the great karaoke catastrophe of 44. A lot of people got killed because some arsehole wanted to sing karaoke. Okay, yes, it's for some clients. Ha! Well, we don't have any tapes. They all got stolen. The man in the vest and the violet shirt stares at the tape you've just given him. This is the look of a man who's defeated. Fine, fine. Climb on that stage and do your thing. Just get out of my hair. I'm having it uninstalled. Oh, yeah. Time to do the damage. I should turn on the karaoke carousel. The air is thick with anticipation. Someone dims the lights as the music starts. A lump's in your throat suddenly. I went off and 
go there to the tiny church there the smallest church in San San though it once was larger how the real may rest there down through the mist there towards the seven sisters towards those pale cliffs there I would often stay there in the tiny yard there I have been so glad here Looking forward to the past here But now You are all alone None of this matters And esto es el puto mejor juego de la historia. Es, es increíble. Do you hear that? It's the most pathetic applause in the world, Harry. Made of pity. No one liked you. Your words echo in the ca- Quit yelling into the mic! Someone walks out of the room, by the front door. Some woman. Is it because of you? That's it. I'm unplugging it. That's it. You're- Let's go, officer. These people wouldn't know a good performance if it beat them in the ass. <laughs> 